Jennifer and 15. I'm Paige and I'm 15 too. Awesome. Sitting around at home, nothing really. Yeah. I was in New Zealand getting in trouble. Yeah. Um, this was my punishment to come here. <laughs> yeah. But now I've changed. Okay, awesome. And were any of you guys going to school before you came here? Oh no. Okay. I was until I got kicked out. Um, doing outdoor activities and cooking. Yeah. What sort of stuff do you cook? Um, like really easy meals that are cheap and will help us like survive. Like, yeah. I stopped getting into trouble. Yeah. I just woke up, really. Um, because I'm actually doing something and getting a future compared to just being lazy and not doing anything. I want to be a photographer. I want to um, just keep going to school and hopefully get a part-time job. My name is Liam O'Sullivan. I've um, been at Boys Town now for coming up on three years, so just over two and a half years, and my role here is one of an educator role. Youth Connections is a federally funded uh, youth initiative, and then within that, we'll, we run a program called Fresh Start, and Fresh Start's a program that I get to work in. We work on literacy and numeracy with young people that are disengaged from school or at risk of disengaging from school with the ultimate purpose of helping them to re-engage back into mainstream schooling options and to finish their year 12. Being a brother and sister to all would definitely be one of the main sailing traditions that influences me on mainly trying to walk along beside the young person when I'm teaching them or when I'm working with them to get back into school as well as um, faith and zeal is definitely another important one, giving them that zeal to have resilience within their education. So once they go back into a mainstream school, helping them to make sure they ensure success while they're there. Definitely low level literacy and numeracy. So for a lot of the young people that I've seen, sort of around that 14, 15 years of age, they may not have been in school for three, four years. Some of them may be going to school but not actually learning. So some of the literacy levels especially can be like a seven-year-old or an eight-year-old and they're already 14, 15. The other barriers can definitely be um, home barriers so in relation to parenting or living with guardians, so not having that stable platform at the house. Drug and alcohol sort of issues as well. Yeah, it's a, it's a long list and each individual comes with different barriers. Within the Fresh Start program, when we identify young people with low-level literacy, for instance, we then establish a reading program. Each young person leaves the room for about 15 to 20 minutes and they spend time with a volunteer uh, working on their reading skills and going through the alphabet. We have a music studio here at the office at Woodridge. So with literacy we might look at lyricism and then once they've done some uh, lyricism and learned about poetry and so forth, they can then access a professional recording studio and actually record those lyrics so they get to see the full process. One of the big benefits of the Youth Connections model and the Fresh Start model is um, we're able to marry together two relationships, one which is education and one which is the social services community side. So by having an educator or teacher working in with a youth worker, it brings those two partnerships together and gives the young person a really holistic approach to their education. 